Hello friends, welcome back. My name is PK. In this video, you will learn how to get the different date formats using a single formula in Microsoft Excel. As you are seeing my screen, we have here dates. Now we want to get the day of this date, then day in short format, day name in the full format and month number, then month name in short format, month name in the full format, the year and then date in SAP format then we want to get the quarter also and the week in year so this all information we need from this date column okay now to quickly get it we can use the simple formula but before that if you want to make this as a range then you can simply select this and change this as a date what we have done on the top we have put the different formats so day we want in dd format then ddd the sort name this is the four times d to get the complete day name okay here we have mm to get the month number and we have here mmm to get the sort name and the four times m is to get the full name of the month here we have the yyyy to get the year and sap format of the date we are using dot between the month year and date then we want to get the quarter number of the year and here we want to get the week number in the year okay so first of all i will show you how you can get the day or day name or the month name we will use the text function here so let me show you how the text function works. I'm using here text and let's say I'm selecting this date and the format we will provide the format in the format like D or DD and just close the bracket hit the enter. So we are getting here 02 which is the day second fab right. So we are getting 2 02. If you want to get only 2 you can put here single D and just hit the enter. So we are getting only 2 all right and here you will get the 26 so you can decide whether you want to get it as a 0 2 or 2 okay accordingly what we have done we have put the formats on the top so now what we can do here we can use the text function and we will select this range which is the date already we have created the name so we can type here date comma the format we will use the the format we can select this right so just close the bracket and hit the enter we are getting the day here now we can put the same formula here also so we are getting the sort day name here like sunday monday in the first three letter but as i promised we will use the single formula so what we can do let's delete this formula and here in place of this c3 we can use the h stack function and select this range till here and just close the bracket and hit the enter so we are getting the values still here and you can see this is the sort name of the day and this is the full name here we have the month number and you can change it only d in place of double d and similarly here in place of double m take the single m and hit the enter so zero will be removed all right and here we have the sort month name full month name this is year if you want to take last two digit of the year you can just put here yy then we have the last two digit of the year all right or let's take the complete and here we have put the dd dot mm dot by 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 or you can put mm first then dd okay so whatever format you will put here accordingly it will give the result now we are not getting the quarter and the week number here to get the quarter what we can do we can use here round up function round up the number we can use here month of this cell and just divide this by three comma number digit just use zero close the bracket hit the enter we are getting here one so this is quarter one and if i will fill down so this is quarter four for the december right so what we can do here we can use in the inverted comma qtr space put the end here and hit the enter so we are getting this string also all right now let me delete this and in place of a5 if i will use date or this range and just hit the enter i'm getting the whole quarters all right 
now similarly to get the beak in year we can use the beak number beak number this beak num function and let's select this date comma the return type let's say i'm saying my beak will start from sunday so you don't need to select anything just close this or if you want to select monday tuesday or whatever you want if your beak is starting from that day so you can take that but for now i'm not taking anything so i'm putting here beak number so i'm getting here beak number as a six let's take date in place of a5 and hit the enter so we are getting here value error so that means it is not working here so what we will do we can use here lambda use here lambda and let's take the parameter as x and use the beak number and put here x and just close the bracket and hit the enter so now let's copy this formula and go to the formulas name manager create the new name beak in year and let's paste that formula click on ok close this all right let's delete this and we can use here beak in year and if i put here date then again this will return this error so what is happening this beak number function is not working on array so what we can do here we can use the map function and in the map first we will provide the array then the lambda function i'll use the this array or we can directly input here as date comma you just need to provide the function name which we have created which is week in year okay and just delete this bracket just put only the function name and close the bracket hit the enter we are getting here week in year all right now these two function we have created separately so let's copy the first function from here and we will just use here h stack function before the text h stack array one will be this comma array two paste your next function then we have used map function map and the array we have taken date comma beak in year this function and just close the bracket hit the enter this showing the spill error because we have some values here so delete that then automatically the single function is filling all information all right friends so friends that is how you can use the text function and you can use the lambda function to get the beak number in one selection and to get the quarter number also friends i hope you have enjoyed this video if you like this video please hit the like button and please subscribe my channel to get the regular update of my videos thank you so much for watching